What's going on, guys? It's Adonis. I'm back. I feel like my voice is almost there 100% again. But a lot of you have been asking me about Goku's new form and what my thoughts are on how he actually achieves it. So I'm going to talk about that in this episode and why it has everything to do with Zeno. Let's get into it. Now, if you guys are fans of Dragon Ball Super, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. All right, guys, so in the past of Dragon Ball, whenever there was a really escalated evolution of a form or some kind of massive power up, it always had something to do with some drastic change to a character, which means a death, something drastic happens to a character as far as being pinned into a corner where they have to now excel past the villain. Now, that has always been the case in Dragon Ball, especially in Dragon Ball Z. Now, obviously, Super, when you got into the whole Super Saiyan God stuff, that was where things started to change, right? Goku never heard about this God form until Beerus brought it up. They found out how to do it. He became a God. We saw Super Saiyan Blue happen, but it was while he was fighting Frieza, but they were already training into it. So he had already had this form prior. Um, when it came to Goku versus Hit, he already had something in play where he got to fight Hit and use this form, you know, something that he had already kind of been working on, but he wasn't actually pushed into the form. I think this is gonna be the point at which we see kind of a Super Saiyan transformation, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan transformation, where it's, you were, he was forced into this form. I don't think it's something that he's actually kind of gotten into yet. I think it's gonna be a first time thing based off of how Goku looks. It looks like he's being pushed past his limit now. Now I know in the previous videos that I've talked about is this could be his you know, true form. Maybe this is exactly what the kind of true God form is supposed to look like, this limit breaker form, whatever you wanna call it. But I think it's gonna be based off of him being pushed or something drastic happening. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, bro, like, of course he's gonna have this crazy thing he has to overcome. So the big question that I have is, what's gonna change for Goku to actually get to that point? Because right now how the tournament sits, the only way for anybody to lose is for their entire team to get kicked off the stage. But based on like people getting kicked off the stage, I don't know if that's really gonna push Goku to that point. I think what we saw in the previous episode with Master Roshi and his need to just get out of whatever situation he was in, allowed him to obviously go Super Saiyan Blue on the guy that looked like hair gel. But anyways, he got out of that fight immediately. He went Super Saiyan Blue, got out of that and took off, right? He was playing with the guy at the time. There was no you know, necessity for him to get shit done really quick until he saw that Master Roshi was not breathing anymore. He was gone. And this is where Zeno comes in. So my thought on this is what if Zeno decides to say, you know what? This is not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna allow killing. Now this is where things would get really interesting because ultimately the tournament is gonna end in the universe is getting erased anyways. So regardless if a universe gets completely wiped out, like kicked off the stage, they're gonna die anyways. So I think that this may shift Goku's mindset now into oh my God, they can actually die. And maybe somebody being killed off will spark that in Goku. Now, obviously what the form is gonna be called, we still don't know. We don't know what energy it is. Is it an evolution of God? Is it, you know, a Super Saiyan mixed with some kind of angel-esque type of, you know, power? Who knows? But I really think that the shift in what the rules are, are gonna determine on how Goku actually gets into this form. And the reason I say that is the look that Goku has, guys, he looks serious. This isn't like a fight like, I wanna beat you look. This has a fight for like survival. Like, and obviously we know that the tournament, your, your universe is at stake, but why hasn't he felt like that from jump, right? So either one, his entire team is getting wiped out and he's the only one left or they allow killing and people are now dying or somebody just died. There has to be something that's gonna push Goku past that because the look that he has, there's a resolve that he has in his face that usually comes from obviously him versus Frieza or Gohan versus Cell, like that look on that face. 
this is the type of look that you see Goku having here. So I want to know your thoughts on this, guys. Do you think Zeno is going to change the rules? Do you think that death will be allowed? Do you think that maybe this is just, you know, a resolution of or a result of the entire Universe 7 team getting wiped off and now he's the only one left? Let me know your guys' thoughts on this down below. I want to know your theories on how you think Goku gets into this form. Not what the form is, not what the energy is, not any of that, but how he actually gets into the form. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Show your boys some love. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys are. Have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future Dragon Ball Super content. Thank you guys so much. If you want to check out my last Dragon Ball video, the link will be right here to the side. All right, guys. Till next time. See you later.